My name is Loren Lorino, and I am a humanitarian from the swamps of Jersey living on a prayer. That prayer is to host a daytime television talk show on holistic subject matter. Einstein says energy is transmutable and transferable, so I believe the fastest way to activate the planet is through conscious media. I earned my sobriquet, America's Holistic Sweetheart, at the New York Open Center, and I invite you to join my holistic health crusade bringing you the latest health trends. Hey Holistic Health Crusaders, Dr. Ren here, and today we're going to think about fasting. So ever offer a friend some of your food on the fly and they're like, nah brah, I'm fasting. Oh, I, I'm not going to catch that from you, am I? So what the heck do you mean by you're fasting? Most people may have only encountered this term when a medical doctor tells them no eating or drinking overnight in anticipation of some procedure. I think that's just so you don't throw up on them when they're checking you out the next day, but whatevs. You might be surprised on how many people incorporate a regular fast into their dietary livid. The average person I know in the natural health world dedicates one day a week to a carefully prepared fasting protocol. Sometimes they incorporate a more extensive plan quarterly. And Dr. Robbins is the world leading authority on IV ozone therapy, is that right? I think it is. <laughs> this is our 25th year. We've done over 220,000 therapies. We do over 10,000 treatments a year. And basically, when ozone is a gas, it enters your body, it destroys every virus, fungus, yeast, mold, bacteria, toxin, harmful free radical, parasite, and even eliminates toxic metals off brain and peripheral nerve tissue, which regular chelation therapy can't. The people that we see usually have had very serious illnesses and problems. Um, it's been known last October, we went um, the pr invitation of the president of Sierra Leone to treat Ebola, and we've just had a paper published in the African Journal of Infectious Disease, which is a peer-reviewed indexed medical journal, on how um, on 4K studies that were done using the Robbins method of direct IV ozone. That's you. They, that's me. You feel when you go down the extremities how that helps with the circulation and will really help flush out some of the toxins. So I will be sure to drink all my water tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> do my homework. So what are we going to be doing in class tonight? Is there like a specific like name or term for this move here? Sure, this is called the sacred rep and Vata Kanasana. Ah. <laughs> and now I understand what Susan meant by how it really alleviated her back pain. I feel my, my spine just lengthening here and it's really alleviating the pressure and the weight. I see some of these healthy ingredients here. What do we got? All right, so we have here um, organic vegetables, onions, zucchini, yellow squash, great summer vegetables. We have these organic pecans and coconut sugar will be incorporated as part of our praline sauce versus um, a typical brown sugar. We're gonna use grapeseed oil, and I'm gonna talk about all of that. I see uh, some gray neutral spirits there. Yes, you do. Ah! Himalayan pink sea salt, organic black pepper, and of course, the prime ingredient, ghee. Oh my ghee, and that's actually cultured ghee. So I can't wait to see what you're gonna cook up. We're gonna leave you to it. And again, thanks for being here and channel all your love energy into this recipe I'm today for to. us. Thank thanks, you. Chef Mimi. So, Dana, I'm going to get to the heart of this right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. So what I most admire about you, you know, of course, being a forward thinker and a pioneer, is that you're always paying it forward and you work with children from time to time. Sure. So what are your passionate causes? Hmm. So right now, I like to say that I'm an artist that's at the cusp of technology and healing. and. Uh, basically, I see that there's three main veins of sustenance in the world. One is the obvious that we're, t that we're here for, we're all here because of it, is nutrition, right? You are what you eat, quite literally and directly, right? The second is arts and culture, right? We are all drastically changed for the better because of something we've seen and experienced, heard, felt, that was artistic, right? Mm -hmm. It nourishes our soul, 
And speaking about Tara's wild success with this approach of bringing holistic to corporate, she was one of 40 women in the metro area who won a Brava Award just before the New Year. So congratulations on that. Your great organization, Smart CEO. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we actually have um, something that we're doing with them this year, which is the Smart, uh, it's like a Smart CEO blog. Here's us on the Help Advocate panel with me moderating. We also have fellow superheroes, Dr. Jameis Sheridan, Maria Aparis, and Renoni Landis. Both Elixir and I were among the few who won a state senate award for outstanding community service. And I do have to take a moment to thank everyone here at Union TV 34 and Union County College for enabling me to advocate through Conscience Media and accept this honor. That being said, it was an intense long weekend. Thankfully, there was a healthy restaurant walking distance from where the event took place, and it had a juice bar. I want to talk a little bit more about NLP or Neuro Linguistic Programming. This is something that I'm challenged a lot with in my personal life and dating life. And, you know, whenever I say, hey, what's your NLP? Like people are like, what's that? And they just don't get it. So could you talk a little bit more about that? Sure. Um, I'm a licensed master NLP practitioner, and I studied with the person who created it, the co-creator, Dr. Bandler. And NLP is Neuro Linguistic Programming. Realize that we neuro, it's, it's totally our mind the language we're using and how we program ourselves to do things. Hey Holistic Health Crusaders, Dr. Ren here with Professor Drew from the New York Herb School on a special edition of today's Healthy Recipe. How you doing Professor I'm doing Drew? doing great, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here today and My I pleasure. can't wait to tell the viewers how to do the nasty tea since we're going into <laughs> cold and flu season. Well, there's this great recipe. It actually comes from one of these ancient books called Recipes to Keep Up One Sleeve. Oh. Pretty simple. Up one sleeve. Up one sleeve, right? And it's things you can find in the supermarket, so it's very simple. It's I know one thing I've discovered so far that sets you apart is you're the first place in New Jersey that I've found that processes your 100% cacao in-house <laughs> and sells it here. Okay. And again, I love your cutesy little paintings and things like your mushroom chocolates. And weren't you selling maraschino cherries not too yeah. long ago? Yeah. And for some reason, no one bought the happy face ones. Yeah. They bought the ones that look like emojis with like tear face and frowns. Correct. Isn't that interesting? That's I think so it has to do with, I don't know what, breakups or something? I don't know. <laughs> no. So I just wanted to emphasize the importance of rainforest certified and locally sourced flowers. They go through strict supervision to make sure that very minimal to none pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides are used when they are growing organically, and it helps to preserve the soil for new crops, which leads to a sustainable planet, and when you bring them into our home, it actually is less pollutant to our home environment as well. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Smooches, and think again next time.